Welcome to another edition of Books in 140 Seconds, and this week we are talking about Tom Perota's The Leftovers. Mm -hmm. So, you remember that rapture thing that was supposed to happen a while ago, and it didn't really, it was kind of funny, happen. but anyway, in this book, it does happen. And what happens is that there's no rhyme and reason to it, it's not limited to believers, or people from a certain country, or race, or anything along those lines, just some people are, are all of a sudden gone. And so you have these families that are kind of shattered, where... Maybe your husband left, maybe your your children left, maybe your whole family left. And it's about what happens to one family in particular and some and some other members of their community as they try and move forward after this really unexplainable event. Yeah. So Perota uses this example to explore a lot of different things. He explores American suburbia and how it doesn't live up to everyone's ideals. It explores religious beliefs and what it means to have faith and have that faith loss and how to find faith in something else once your beliefs have been challenged. It's also an exploration on friendships and creating human connections um, in unexpected and unlikely places. Uh, he's also a really fantastic writer. There's a lot of wide observations within here and a lot of really sharp, sharp sentences, which I appreciated a lot. So it's a lot of fun to read. And his characters are really great. Like, they're totally screwed up because his rapture just happened. So all their friends are gone. They don't know who they are and what the world they live in is. So it's difficult to be able to understand what they're going through. But at the same time, you can really get inside their heads and appreciate. And you can understand, like, the wife in this ends up in this crazy cult where they're not allowed to talk at all. And at the same time, you're just like, Lori, I understand. Yeah. It's totally crazy, but because I understand. It is really about grief, and that's one of the major mm. things and how the different ways that we deal with grief. And, and what's really interesting is that what comes in this time when the continuation of life is totally uncertain. They don't know if it'll come back. They don't know like if that was a fluke. They don't know what happened. Is that there seems to be, despite all this grief and despite all this uncertainty, this reassertion of life. And part of that is through friendships, and part of that is through things that go on even at the ending. Mm -hmm. It ends on somewhat of a hopeful note, despite the fact that there is a lot of dark stuff here. Death and despair and all these petty jealousies and things that come up when we're just kind of stripped down and vulnerable and have nothing really to stand on anymore. Mm -hmm. So everyone will survive. That seems to be the big theme of this. You might not come out unscathed, but you'll get through, which I appreciate. I really did like the hopeful element, too, because you could go super, super dark with this, but mm -hmm. he doesn't. Um, it's... It's the rapture. The rapture. Great times. Mm -hmm. Look, I raptured. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been planning that? 